Friday, Friday over here, Friday with me, Dale, the magical balloon dude. And today we're going to be doing a head design. Here's a head design. This is what we're going to be making. Here's the front, there's the back, there's the front, back. Now I came up with this head design recently. It's a brand new design for me. I posted it out to a couple groups and said, hey, what do you think it could be? And a lot of people had a lot of different responses. So I'm going to show you how to do this head today. And I'm going to do it in two colors. And uh, while we wait for some people to come on, I'm just going to inflate a couple balloons here. The balloons that we're going to be using today. Handy dandy pump. We're going to be using approximately four balloons because I'm going to do this multicolored. Drop this in my bag here. Now, I'm using the Mocha Brown balloon here from Qualitex just as a, a Mocha is color I happen to like. It just came out cool. We're going to do this as two-tone here. This is really just two balloons when I made it. And I'm actually going to turn it into a three-balloon design because sometimes you want to break up colors. And let me show you how to do the design with multiple colors. And this way, you have more options than the options I presented here. The thing that I really like about this head design is the back. Now, if you're new to this channel, do me a favor. Click subscribe. Uh, the what happened to my subscribe icon? That's not good. Where is my subscribe? There we go. Got shut off. There we go. Do me a favor on this channel. Click the subscribe button. Become a follower because I talk about different balloon designs that I create. I talk about the industry. I talk about a lot of things on this channel from how to to what's happening to new tips and tricks that I've learned and advice I share. So this is a perfect time to subscribe. And always, if you'd like to leave me a comment, feel free to leave me a comment below. I respond to 99.9% .9 of all comments. I like to hear what you say, what you think. And if you like these videos, I will keep producing them. So make sure you leave me a comment. All right, let's actually start this. This balloon actually started, the design actually started from the Sonic the Hedgehog that I made. And if you haven't seen that video, go check out that video. And it really started with the ear design. That's what made me think of this design. So what we're going to do is start off with a 260 balloon. And you notice I do have a couple fingers left over. This head design, this part of the balloon is going to be the part that we cycle through. So if I show you, in essence, what I'm doing, is so we're going to start with this section right here, which is approximately three fingers to four fingers in length. That's going to be the largest section. That is the jawline. Now, we're going to do the ears. If you look at this video right here, this picture right here, you notice how we have the side that comes up and then I, it's hard for me. I, should, I can't point over it, but right up here, right, right there is where we're going to be doing the ears. So or right here, if you, you look right, right there is where the ears are going to be. And to do the ears now, it's a four finger, then it's a small two finger, one inch bubble. That is going to be this bottom section okay now we're going to do a balloon that is one and a half times bigger that's going to be the air section and we're going to do two of those so oops. all right let's start over here real quick all right caught up to where you're at we're going to take four connected in here and it creates this little effect now we're going to make a bubble same size as this what we're going to do is roll it in between this section right here so we're going to take this i roll it one and a half times that gives me that ear there we go that's the ear okay that's this ear so you see how we've done that that's now we're going to do the part here again. This is going to be maybe a three inch bubble. Again, depending on how far you want the ears apart. If you want the ears farther apart, make it a little farther. 
It's up to you, it's your design. Now we're gonna reverse the process. What we're gonna do is a bubble like this, which is gonna be your ear bubble, which is gonna be approximately three fingers for me. Make the same size again, so they're identical. A bubble that is roughly one third the size or half that size, which is the bottom part of the ear. Twist that around. Again, we're gonna make a bubble the same exact size as this. And we roll that through, which finishes off the ear section. And I rolled it through twice. So here's our head design. We measure it out. We want the same length. Take the nozzle, wrap it around. Now, you may be running out of balloon, that's fine. If you are, you could always squeeze, force that air up. What we're gonna do is make a bubble. And if you did run out, you could always break, let some air out. Because this is really the head design and the neck, if anything. I'm gonna push some air and do another pinch twist. Now these pinch twists are nothing more than stabilizing bubbles. If you look again right here, you could see what we've done is the outline of the head. If you notice, this is the back of the head. This is covered up, the front's covered up, everything's covered up. That's one of the cool things I like about this design is if you look at it, the back of the head is not just open wide and left there. It is actually filled in so everything is covered. If you're using this for a, a showpiece or a design piece, it is all covered. It's not one of those things where you only have to look at it from the front end, but the back end will be finished also, which is a cool part. Now, I want to point out something else about my designs. My designs, I like to be fluid, uh, meaning that I like to keep the balloon moving. I come from the world of, oh, let's get these off here. I come from the world of line twisting. That's where I learned my skill. And with this, it was keep the balloon folding, keep the balloon moving. Uh, breaking, stopping, breaking, stopping was nothing I really liked to do. So that's where these techniques of wrapping around, wrapping around, moving things around and keeping it going is important to me. So this is the basic head design. Now from here, we're going to do the muzzle, this section right here. And we're going to use two tones for this. This is going to be one color. Of course, the nose is a different color but the cheeks or the chins or the jowls, whatever you want to call it, is going to be a different color. Now to do that, it's simply a fold. Okay, I'm doing a small fold twist, teddy bear twist, uh, teddy bear legs, teddy bear arms, fold twist, whatever you want to call it. I typically do another pinch twist. This is going to be a small pinch twist. This is the lower chin bubble right here. And I am going to make a bubble the same exact size. So this could be a foot, this could be an arm, it could be a hand. I'm just making a small bubble. Now with this, remove, tie off. This is going to be the actual nozzle or muzzle that it will be brought into here. Whoop. Now, I want to let you know, that my light's awfully bright here. This is actually, appears white. Uh, let me turn down my front light here just a little so you can get a better, how's that? Maybe that's a little better, but even still, it's really hard to see with the glare of the balloon. But this is going to fit right like this. This is actually a Patelitex pale yellow that I'm using, but with the light, it looks white. All right. Taking my next mocha balloon, inflate it. I'm, I, I leave a hand, leave fingers, leave three quarter filled, depending on how you want to look at it. This is going to be the nose part. Again, depending on how big you want the muzzle, each animal will be different. If you want an animal with a longer muzzle, four fingers. If you want an animal with a shorter muzzle, two fingers. I'm going to go for this time. I haven't tried this. I'm going to do about two finger. Two identical bubbles, bring it around, wrap it in. Now, taking my cheeks, as 
you can tell, that's the nose, that's the cheeks. Side to side, you can look at it this way. Now, bring, once you've wrapped this around a couple of times, bring this up so you have the balloon going up. Now, what I do is I take the balloon, And th this is, I I'm going to get this in like this. Now, to do this, I'm going to, you notice right here, this is tied in. And let me just look at something here. Whoop. Too many balloons, not enough spaces. All right. If you notice right in here, I do have this balloon tied in. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take this balloon, feed it through the hole. Now, this is gonna be, and I'll show you how I tie this in. It's kind of a unique way of doing it. Three fingers, this is the eye section. So that's that section right here. So I'm gonna go three fingers and oops, a little larger. I'm going to lock it into this section right here. Now, there's a couple ways you can do it. You go through, or you can come from the top down, which is easier to show on camera. I'm just gonna go down. Feed it through, spin it around. All that is doing is locking or twisting this balloon in there. Now, I'm gonna take a balloon that is the same identical size, actually, just stop here and think for a second. Yeah. I want to take a balloon, make a bubble that's the same identical size as this one. And I push it through, lock it, feed it through the hole that, that ties this in. So that is the back part of the ears. Now, if I look at here, it seems like this is crazy, but if I pull this down, I'm gonna make another bubble this size, and I'm gonna tie it into this joint right here again. So as you can see, when I'm done, when I'm done, I just broke it. All right, I'm gonna break my, repair this in a second. Now, I'm left with everything here. Take this down. And this is where we pull it in. Give it a twist. And now I have to fix my head here a little. Let me turn my pump on. I need to add that section back where I broke it. So let me make that cheek again. Do me a favor, folks. If you haven't time, uh, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel. And uh, always leave me a comment. I love to hear what you folks say, what you think about the designs. A lot of finagling here at the moment. All right, what I basically had to do was push these ears around, move them around. Now to finish up the back of the head, what I'm going to do is come up to this section, this joint again. So I'm gonna make about a five, in, five bubbles. I'm gonna come in. And what I'm going to do now is squeeze some air out and draw. Let me show you this way if I can. I'm gonna squeeze air out and draw that balloon to this other section and then come back. So in theory, what I've done is I've taken the balloon from the back side here, wrapped it around, squeezed the air out of it. It's hidden right here now. Pull that up so I could then come back down. Make my back bubble head.
All right, I'm going to remove this old neck part. Tie it off. It's no longer needed. There we go. That is two color, two tone. That's the same thing as this. All right, so we have the two head designs here. This one, again, it, it, it takes a different look when you start adding different colors to it. Now, I'm going to use a black nose. You may have a scrap if you got a scrap. Tie it off here. So I have my bubble. I take that, insert it right there. Take it around. There's one color, there's a solid color. As you can tell, same design, same thing. Full complete. It's like I say, it's not difficult. It's like I say, the first thing you have to do is make the ear configuration, which comes up, bubble, ear, ear, little bubble, come back, bubble, again, up, down, little bubble, little bubble, back, down. That gives you your basic head set. And then you can use, again, here is how I did it in two colors. I made this separate. I then worked the face in. When I worked the face in, I tied it in on this ear right up here. I then made a second bubble, went back, tied in, tied down again. Tied the whole nozzle and the face into this joint right here. I then came up, squeezed the ear out, went around, and then I came back over the top to the back of the head and tied in. There you go. And if you want to put some eyes to it, we can put some eyes to it. Again, that's going to change the look. I'm just going to give it some big circle eyes. Again, circle eyes. Brings that character to life. Now, this could be a dog, it could be a cat. Originally, when I designed it, I was thinking of a cat. Uh, you could go on wherever you want. You could give it a long neck, short neck. It's up to you to see where you want to take this, folks. I just designed the head for you. You guys, uh, again, do me a favor, leave me a comment. That's what I'd love to hear is a comment where you're taking this, what you think about it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because uh, this is what we do here. I teach you how to do balloons. I teach you about the balloon entertainment field. There's a whole bunch of things that happen. So my name is Magical Balloon Dude Dale. I hope you liked this quick, short video for today. Have fun. Be good. Be safe. I'm out of here. Bye-bye. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and never miss a video. Subscribe now. Click the little bell and always be notified of a live broadcast. Follow me on Instagram. And if you're a TikTok fan, you'll find me under the same name, Dale Labrocta. Looking forward to seeing you on social media.